Hey guys, this is going to be kind of a quick video. It's just going to be explaining um, how one sketch can randomly turn into another. And I hope that helps you. So I started out with uh, not really knowing what to do with the uh, composition. Um, I ended up trying to draw a pose I saw, but ended up deciding against it to just go for something a bit more basic. And... Originally, I thought that would be a good idea, and it turned out I just kept struggling and struggling to get an idea out. So, uh, the sketching phase is actually the longest part next to the line art phase for me, because there's a lot of planning or throwing darts at a wall and hoping an idea sticks, and half the time I end up erasing the sketch over and over and over again. I usually don't start recording till I have like a very good idea in my head. So as you can see, it took at least three times sketching to come up with an idea for this pose. And this one had a pretty good reference. I'm pretty sure the reference was AI. Um, but, you know, I actually firmly believe it's okay to reference AI as long as you aren't copying it or claiming it as your own. The, the main thing I will say is if you're drawing hands... Definitely don't use AI. I think everybody knows that much. But AI can do some things right. So maybe try figuring out what the computer is doing and maybe learn how to incorporate lighting the same way AI does. Obviously, AI isn't perfect, and I don't condone the use of it just because it's, it's tainted software. But in terms of using it as a reference, as long as you fix the errors and make it for yourself, I think it's okay. Also, if you aren't an artist and you use AI, I'm not mad at you. It's, it's literally a tool. Just use it. If you want art from an actual artist, get art from an actual artist. If you never planned on commissioning anyone in the first place, then AI is perfect for you. It's, it's okay. So as you can see, I'm just planning out the coloring here. Um, this is another VTuber. Sorry for all my viewers who aren't into VTubers, but I adore drawing VTubers. They're just my comfort food, and they do really well in the algorithm, so it definitely helps out a whole lot. So, my advice would be draw what you love, and try to just be niche about it. Find your, uh, your little pocket of the internet that you enjoy, and stick with that. That'll definitely help you. It'll get you so you're not as blocked for ideas or make a mistake and just not grow. Really the the trick to growing on the internet is to find your little niches or pockets of the internet and getting better at your skill and as you get better at your skill the more people within that group will notice you. It happened with me with Hololive and I'm definitely really thankful for that. So I kinda wanted to end this video just saying real quick how thankful I am for you guys. The fact that I'm averaging a thousand views per video now feels really, really good, and I really appreciate it. You guys are really making me feel like I'm accomplishing something. So thank you very much. And I'll end the video by saying if you like this video, like, comment, subscribe, hit the bell. It helps out a whole lot. Thank you. Bye.